Hi everyone. I have finally taken my nap and I got my study juice and I thought I would do a quick little haul because Christmas came early and I have a couple of packages. Raher and right here as well. <laughs> so um, I thought I would show you what I got. This is from my friend's t-shirt company that she actually started during quarantine. So here it is. It's so cute. It says Common Ground, which is the name of their... I guess I would call it like a fundraising platform. So cute! The mission behind her t-shirt business was basically to raise awareness and funds for food security and food justice education programs and I really love the cause because having studied public health in undergrad we learned a lot about food deserts um, and this is a term that I guess they're trying to stray away from and instead they call it the food apartheid because it fully encompasses the economic inequalities and the systemic racism that directly affect the food disparity gap between underrepresented families. I'm really excited to wear this shirt and it's super soft and they worked directly with a small local printing company and t-shirt company to make sure that they're ethically sourced so I'm very proud of my friend and I love that the packaging is compostable. I also decided to order some more blue light glasses. These are actually blue light glasses, but I decided I would get another pair just to kind of switch it up. And I know the circle lens look is really in these days, so I thought I would try it out. Cute, not bad. I like that they're really lightweight. Yes, I like them. I'll keep them on for the rest of this video. Next, I have a bunch of, I guess you could call them art supplies. While I was looking through the analytics of one of the past vlogs that I posted, I realized that a lot of people had been typing up dentist ASMR, and I was kind of curious to see what exactly it was that they were looking for that led them to my video. And when I typed in dentist ASMR on YouTube myself, I realized that there are a ton of videos of just dental cleaning um, ASMR videos and they're super aesthetically pleasing and I kind of got carried away and started watching all of these ASMR videos and I realized in the past I used to struggle a lot with test anxiety in undergrad so I was actually listening to ASMR videos the day before my exams and that would kind of calm me down and help me fall asleep and there were times where I actually experienced the tinglies, which is basically the whole goal of ASMR videos. If you've never experienced it, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, the closest thing that I can think of is that massage broom wire thing that you like melt into your head and it just like, it feels so good. I'll put a picture right here because I don't really know how to describe it, but yeah, that's basically what ASMR is. Yeah, I thought that because I have the equipment and I personally think it's really exciting and fun to watch, I would try making some of my own on this channel. So we shall see how that goes, but I decided to buy some resin candy charms. I also bought some confetti, foam balls, glitter. So all of these go into the slime. I've never really been big into slime. I guess I've just been super late to the trend, but I decided instead of trying to make it, I would just buy pre-made one from Elmer's. Here it is. Lastly, I have a bunch of rhinestones and there's a couple of channels that I watch that have just pure dental cleaning ASMR videos and they use a lot of these supplies and equipment. So that's how I was inspired to purchase all these. I've been waiting to open this. The nice thing about dental school is that you get a ton of free dental supplies, whether it's toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, you name it. I haven't had to buy a single tube of toothpaste since I got here, which is really nice. On top of that, we also get some free goodies. So Oral-B sent us an electronic toothbrush and then I got my free Sonicare toothbrush. So I'm really excited to use this because I've heard pretty good reviews about this. The head of the toothbrush is a lot wider, so I know a lot of people prefer this in comparison to the Oral-B, which is the one that I'm currently using. I'm gonna give this a try tonight. It has been a while since 
I've done Zoom workouts with my friend, but recently we kind of started back up again and on top of working out, we decided to start doing work on Zoom together, which has been really nice because we can keep each other company. And I'm also thinking of making some more study with me videos on this channel in the future just because that's what I do in dental school. So I'm actually going to give them a call in a bit and catch up on some lectures. For the turtles. all this sweat. <sighs> it was a very good workout. <laughs> For dinner, I made some pasta and I just added some zucchini, onions, and I've been really enjoying the Beyond Beef sausages, so I just add that in. Yeah, it's a quick meatless dinner. I tried to eat meatless whenever I can. I realized that I haven't talked about complete dentures yet. I guess just a quick little recap of everything that we've been doing this week. We started complete dentures and it has been a very challenging course. I have a lot of battle scars unfortunately. I burned myself and I'll put a picture here of when I burned my gown. So it has been quite dangerous and I haven't had the best luck but um, gotta be careful with all those open flames. Anyways, today we just set our mandibular anteriors as well as some of the posterior teeth for the maxillaries. Not gonna lie, it's been really frustrating just because you'll think that you have everything set up the way it's supposed to, but then when you do the measurements or when you get it checked by faculty, they'll take out all of the teeth that you just set, which is what happened in my case. So, yeah, it's definitely been frustrating, but there's moments where it is pretty relaxing because I feel like as someone who really enjoys arts and crafts, there is an art to putting a denture together and making it look really nice. The final result, I'm sure, will turn out a lot better than what it looks like right now, or at least that's what I'm hoping, fingers crossed. We have a lot of exams coming up this week and next week. So I'm realizing now that my weekend and my night will probably just be filled with studying. Yeah, I wish this was a more exciting vlog, but my studies come first. So that's what I will be doing. And thankfully, as I mentioned, a lot of my friends have been really busy with work, school, applications, rotations, and we're probably gonna study together again tonight. It feels really nice to have them in my corner and motivate me. We all got a lot of stuff to do and we have each other. With that being said, I'm just gonna eat my dinner really quick and then just study for the rest of the night. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> so tired. It's midnight, but I thought I would do a quick little unboxing. Fancy, I like it. So here's the head. It's more like your typical toothbrush. I have another canker sore, maybe because of stress. And I also I realized that the toothpaste that I'm currently using has SLS in it, so that might also be another reason because I remember I was talking to one of our hygiene faculty and she said that if you're more prone to kinker sores to check the ingredients in your toothpaste. So I'm gonna use this one and this one doesn't have SLS in it for sensitive teeth. And I think the vibration of this one is supposed to be a little bit more different. More of like a side to side 
lateral vibration movement. Squeeze what I have left in here, pea size amount. Tongue scraper. Final review of the Philips Sonicare toothbrush. I just really like that the head covers a lot more surface area and the bristles are really soft. I prefer the movement of this one a lot more. Got my floss. And now I'm just gonna finish off with my Laneige sleeping mask. Yeah. This is just really hydrating for my skin since it's so dry here. That's it. Super simple. I try to do this like once or twice a week and then I'll alternate with this Olay renewal cream that I got from Costco. And then sometimes if my um, milia is a little bit more apparent, I will use medicated cream from my dermatologist. But yeah, I just keep it real simple. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, take care of your mental health, meditate, take a break from your screens, and yeah. That's it. Good night.